Hello, um, this is a small or short video. I hope it's uh, short. Um, I will show you some things you should do or sh uh, you should think about um, to prevent the problem that some of you had that they pull out the display while removing the vat. Um, recently, someone just happened this problem and I asked him what does he do and he told me uh, the, proce the procedure he does and I thought of okay it's a little bit different than what I do and so I want to show you something about it. The first thing is before you print you should clean the screen and I use um, a microfiber cloth for that and like you see I have two one green and one black and um, the reason for this is the black I use for the screen and for the downside of the vat. And the green one I use when I have cleaned the vat and I just want to finish cleaning the vat with a little bit of alcohol. Um, so I just use this. I never use that to clean the screen because um, it could happen that some of the resin still in here um, especially if I clean that often um, and then I would do a very thin layer of the uh, resin and then we had a big problem. So use two different for that job. So the first thing is you should clean the screen and that has two reasons. For The first reason is yeah you, had, you want a clean screen and the other reason is you can press on the corners to be sure that it's flat and it's it's not loose in any way. So that's the first thing. The second thing is also clean the bottom of your vat. Um, if you use some alcohol to clean it, make sure it's absolutely dry before you insert it. So now I'm going to insert the vat. That's a normal thing, just put it in, it's okay. And now you put it down. And you're gonna print. Okay, what I do now is I'm pressing the vat inside a bit. The reason I do uh, this is I simulate what happens while printing because the uh, fab film gets pressed to the display. So now after you finished printing you can remove this one, it makes it easier. What you do and what you have to think about. Um, the first thing you should do, switch your printer off. Um, why? It's just, I, you will see in a second. Now, when you're removing this, just lose the screws and lose the screws a lot. I lose the screws as long as I don't see any screw under under here. Now, just don't pull it out just in this moment. Go inside the printer and now here, but I, I hope you can hear it. Lift the back side a bit. Did you hear that? This moment you lose the, screw, uh, the, the fat film from the display and you hear the sound and you know it is off. And now you can do it on the, on the front side also a bit. And then you can pull it out. There should be no problem. So, again, if it's pressed down, you can lose it by lifting up the back side lifting up the front side, be sure it's loose, and then get out the vat. That's the first thing you should think about. And now, some other things. Um, some of you think it's a good idea to put some tape on here. Um, this is yes and no. Um, the bad thing about this is if I do um, tape completely around it, the fat, uh, the, uh, the fat film 
gets higher and will lift up a bit from the screen. That's ne never a good idea. Um, so when you want to put it, just put it on the corners here, here, and here, and here. So the um, the uh, tension of the fab film will make it that it's in the middle, where the most of you will print something, it's flat on the screen. That's one thing. So now I want to show you something. And this is um, just an emergency helper. So what I mean by that, uh, what you need is a, um, a very stable yarn and put some knot in here, something like this. Now, going to lose this screw up here a bit. And, and it's now hard to do it while the camera is there. I try it. If it takes too long, I will speed up this. I shouldn't do that when the when I could not stand right in front of these. I did it. So I fasten up the screw and the yarn is there where I want it. Now the next thing you should do is take a piece of Tesa or whatever, bring it up here and tighten it. So there it is. Now I want to do another thing. Tighten it here. So why I do, did all this? If you have insert the vat. And you encounter the problem that when you lift it, it won't, it won't go from the screen because you have something between it, some uh, cured resin or whatever. You can get these, put it up, get it under the screen, and now you can lose the screen. from the vat. This is just for security. I have it all the time installed and I didn't have to use it right now, but if something is between the screen and the vat, it could help. It's not a 100% thing. Um, if it's not work, you have to cut out um, the fab film and then to remove it very, um, you, you, could, you could remove it then, that way. So um, I hope I didn't forget anything, but that's um, my things I had to do to prevent that I get a, a, a problem with the screen.